Hello my YouTubians, how you doing? And welcome to Paranormal Seabass Approved Episode 6. Yeah, um, I'm really happy everybody's watching it and so far everyone's gotten over 100 so I'm going to keep doing these as long as that happens. Now, uh, this next one took a little bit of work. Uh, like, I don't know, three or four days worth of... Uh, going through stuff and everything else but i finally got it done um now this this person this guy um very straight forward person uh evidence is always good double checks and triple checks the evidence that that he gets um he's always very respectful to the spirits um there's plenty of things that that he does that that i approve of in the, in the way he does things and I'm not going to tell you too much about it because it's in the cinema, right? So um, I'll let you. I'll let you have a look at that. Um, the only other thing uh, that I'm going to tell you is this person had two intros, okay? And uh, so I put the one that I think is the best, the favorite, uh, my favorite intro of all all the intros, okay? Uh, he really should consider using this intro because it is the best. Simple as. All right, so I'll talk to you a little bit later down the road. Are there any spirits here tonight? How many spirits are there? Are there more coming? How many spirits are here now? What color shirt am I wearing? How old are you? What's it like in heaven? Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm at the Hanford Cemetery. It's um, in the older section. There's a newer section across the street, but of course I had to come over on this side. And it is really small, but very, very impressive. Irish is always very respectful to the spirits and to the spirit world. Howard McGinnis died in 1899 and it looks like this is just a single plot headstone well, two plots Caroline McGinnis died in 1947 she was 80 years old and Howard, he was 36, but he was part of the Woodmen of the World. Are there any other people that would like to speak? Can you tell me your name?
you tell me what year you passed away? place where I announce where I'm at and if there's a sign I will record that with video however in this case after I left I decided to edit that part out and just classify this as an undisclosed location and these are all seem to be in pretty good shape but it's like I said they're out in the middle of nowhere here so you're not going to have a lot of vandals being able to find the place and I took a took a quick video of the marker on the way in that has the name of the cemetery so I may just edit that out so it's not as easy to find there's more plots over here Ralph Rufus Silas Bennett Catherine. I agree with my brother. There are times when you're in certain locations where you just know that you can't let other people know where it is. Well done, brother. Well done. So I'm at work here. I look like the camera just a little bit. I say I come out here, just a little story. Um, probably been a month now. I come over and stomp 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 threw stuff away in here and as I turned up right there next to this tree there was a there was a man standing there and he was wearing either a gray hey Terry now Terry now welcome he's wearing either gray or a tan clothes but as soon as I I turn that way and I saw him standing right there as it hit my brain that there's a person there they started moving this way and as they moved this way they started to dissipate and they went right into the tree right there and it was all it was less than a second from when I looked up to when he was gone sharing your experiences gives you credibility um, and it also shows that you're not uh, shy to tell people uh, what you believe in. Right there. That's a, that's a doorway right there. And that goes to a hallway where some guy came to work, clocked in, and he never clocked out that night. He um, fell off one of the tanks inside there and didn't survive so i do have one evp from in front of that building there it was raining one night um i had to do it out here because they got like open drains in there for the roof and it was just splattering on concrete so i had to come out here and I asked, I said, I said, there's a spirit in that hallway. I said, can you tell me your name? And I didn't hear anything at that time, but I seen like little white dots appear in the recording. So it was like somebody was speaking. So when I went back and played it back, you heard me asking, you know, what your name is. And you could hear a, I'm Nick, really, really faint. I said, I'm Nick. And that just happened to be the name of the guy that died in there um, in the early 70s. There's all the sides open up for the white. Well, when we first started coming here, um, those always stayed open. And then uh, we started closing 
we close them at night, come up the next morning, and all the doors are wide open. Well, if you guys go up and look at it, you see those doors don't just, they don't just open by themselves. The wind won't do it, uh, you, know, you can't stop your foot and make it happen. Those doors are actually moving. It is always good to get the history of a place from someone that works there. However, keep your ears and eyes open because things may not be that way. Um, we believe his name is uh, James. Um, this particular gentleman is um, a little more, we'll let you know he's around. Um, he's the one that will actually try to scare people out of the basement. Um, he'll, he'll sit there and he'll actually hear him. I've heard him say, get out. I've heard him say, what are you doing here? You know, leave, things like that. I mean, I'll be done by myself because my own little station down there. And then I'll do some fun and I'll be done by myself and I'll hear him just say, get out, you know, or what are you doing here, things like that. Um, First hand accounts by witnesses is a plus and a half. Always a good thing. However, you must judge the credibility of the witness telling you the story. Is there a radio over here? When a spirit thanks you and calls you by name, this is definitely an intelligent hunt. This is not a residual one. A residual one is things that just keep repeating over and over again, like footsteps and things like that. Good catch, Greg. Oh, I heard you really like this dollhouse. It looks really nice. Yeah, is it okay if I, if I touch it? Talking to the spirits builds up trust, and asking permission to touch their things is a great sign of respect for them. By doing this, they may respect you back. Do I have your permission to touch it? You can knock once for yes, two for no. Don't forget to put things back the way they were and to say thank you to the spirits. Awesome job, Greg. Love the style, man. Not only intelligent, but it proves that they know that you are there. Good catch, brother. Hey guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm at the Tulare Cemetery. I know there's some older graves here. Some from the 1800s. So I figured we'd have a look. This makes me chuckle. Sometimes they can be demanding, which is kind of cute when you think about it. Always check places out during the day that you may want to do an investigation at. That way you know what type of physical dangers to be aware of. Floor, so I'm gonna have to be really, really 
careful with my fat ass in here. As you can see by this, uh, the only danger are not the spirits. It's more likely you'll get hurt from the sites that you are checking if you don't check them out first. The use of a REM pod and K2 meter together verifies both items. As you can see here, you can also use them to get yes or no answers. Yeah. If you put the question in the proper way, just as this was happening. Is this one Samantha or is that, is that someone else? Oh, sorry, that was not a yes or no answer. Was that you whistling, Samantha? Nice. Okay. Thank you, Samantha. Can you? Hey guys, and we're live. Fuzzy. And if you look at that K2, it's been sitting with nothing. Just before I went live, I heard something clanging. And all of a sudden, the K2 started going nuts. Sometimes, in the case of things not working, like the K2 meter, then all of a sudden working, sometimes nothing itself is the evidence um, to see. Hey guys, gonna try something a little different tonight. I've done sessions out here before, got good results. But tonight, we're gonna go inside this building right behind me. Never been in there before, never used this camcorder. So it's gonna be the first time for that, first time for this. But when we go in, I'm gonna be in IR night mode. It's lights out darkness in there the only lights that will be is what's coming from outside shining through the window everything else is going to be dark so let's go in and see what we can get okay guys we're inside um very little lights coming in from the side windows in ir mode and we're going to do the spirit box in here and I got my K2 and I can't see crap. So I'm just going to flip this around real quick. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to me. Okay guys, that's what it looks like in here to me right now. Put the R back on. This is what we call Operation Mushroom. Kept in the dark and fed a lot of shit. <laughs> Alright, good luck brother. <laughs> Hey, Molly. Are you here, Molly? Oh, sorry. Lily, are you here? One thing that I'm always impressed with is how Irish whiskey or Greg is always able to get the spirits to tell them their name right away. That is pretty remarkable. Like somebody's looking in. That's right. Did somebody just say that's right. What? Astro? Leanne Isabel? Astro likes helping Greg. Restores law and order when Greg's trying to find someone. Help Lily. Mommy? I've got the 
Are you looking for your mommy? Patches. Now that's a very cute name for a turtle, don't you think? Patches. Huh. Hey Lily, would you like to speak with me? Can you tell me your father's name? Good night. Bye-bye. Hey, there you have it, you tubians. Irish whiskey. Great guy. Um, Astro likes him. I like him. Everybody else likes him. Love you, brother. You're a good guy. Um, I love your integrity. I love the way that you treat the spirits. Um, I like your uh, investigation techniques. And the fact that you're always trying new things uh, and experimenting with stuff, uh, that's also very cool. So keep up the good work. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and put that better intro on your cinemas, okay? Da -dee 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 -dee. Hey, everybody likes that. It's all cheery and everything, and and it, you know it's Irish whiskey. So where the hell's the Irish? You know, like you know, you know, you know. Okay, everybody. If you haven't got Irish whiskey, make sure to roll his bones. All right, uh, you won't regret it. Irish is a great guy. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.